there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. It's a bulk one today because this is the statement from Lawrence Mancy, Assistant Marketing and IT Manager at Paltons Park on Twitter, released the statement confirming the brand new opening date for Tornado Springs in 2021. Now of course this was, I mean if it wasn't for the pandemic this would be open by now, but of course it has to be delayed till 2021 and we have an official opening date and we're going to be going through all the attractions, the history of the area for those of you who are new to the channel and share my thoughts on the opening date. So before we get started guys make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Don't forget Six Flags could be coming today as well, don't forget. And make sure you go and watch our other video or other news update today from Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. And for now guys let's get into this video and let's talk about the new opening date for Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park. So according to Lawrence Mancy on Twitter, he says very excited that hashtag Tornado Springs will be officially opening to the public on the 19th of March 2021. Cannot wait to see our guests finally enjoy this world class area. Tickets are on sale now if you want to be there for opening day at Paltons Park with some eye emojis in there as well. Uh, so what I've done is I've linked below in the description the website for Tornado Springs where you can book your advanced tickets uh, for this uh, specific area opening uh, on the 19th of March. But let's go into some history. So located in the Midwest, Tornado Springs has remained a hidden jewel since settlement was established in the early 1800s by adventurers in search of their fortune. Tornado Springs is located on the famous Route 83, allowing the town to thrive by offering fuel, accommodation, and homegrown food to weary travellers passing through. Now, this area has many different attractions. There's two main thrill rides, though. Now, the first of these two thrill rides is Storm Chaser. Now, this is a Mac spinning roller coaster. It's a clone, pretty much, of Sierra Sidewinder, located at Knott's Berry Farm in California. And the description of the website says, Come on, Storm Chasers, take an exhilarating ride on the spinning and swirling Storm Chaser and try and catch the perfect storm on this awesome family spinning roller coaster. And I'm very happy that this is the coaster in the area because I think from the get-go, we knew, you know, from the start of the construction of this area that we were going to see a coaster and, you know, a max spinner for the families is brilliant for the park. The other major thrill ride in the park that's 1.2 meter height restriction is the Cyclonator. Now this is for the real thrill seekers. The mighty Cyclonator spins and swings you to a height of 25 meters. Experience Cyclonator's awesome power as it harvests the crops for the residents of Tornado Springs. No doubt this Jarrah Spring pendulum ride will leave you in a spin. So Cyclonator is manufactured by Zamperla. And uh, yeah, this is a swing ride, this is your frisbee ride for the thrill seekers, and very nice indeed. Next up, Owl's Auto Academy. Now I mentioned in the past that this area is replacing a couple of old animal enclosures which have been relocated, as well as a combined crazy golf and panning for gold attraction. Well, this specific panning for gold attraction is being replaced by the driving school, if for those of you who need more specifics. Take the wheel and head out onto Route 83 at the legendary Owl's Auto Academy. Test out some of Al's latest rides and pick up your very own driving license from Al's shop service. Driving license purchased at an additional charge. So, you know, this is your driving school attraction. So, like I said, specifically replacing the Panning for Gold ride. So, very good there. Next up, the Windmill Tower. Now, this, if you're looking for like a, a replica of this, look at Tikal at Fantasyland. It's Tikal, but I think, I think that's how it's pronounced. Tikal or Tikal. Uh, but it's a fantasy land. We're looking at basically two of those. So these are two super fun family drop towers. Which tower will you choose? The water and wind towers at Tornado Springs stand proud over the town providing power generation out in the crooked countryside. These two super fun drop towers will make riders squeal with delight as they bounce them down, up and down and up again. So, like I said, these are the family drop towers like T-Cal at Fantasyland and, uh, yeah, the Wimble Tower is definitely going to be a good, fun family attraction. Next up, the Trekking Tractors. Now, this was an existing attraction within the theme park and this has been fully rethemed to fit the brand new area. So, stop by Farmer Flows and enjoy a leisure trip on her cute little old tractors around the farm. There's lots to see on your travels, all manners of delicious fruit and veg and keep an eye out for the cheeky and mischievous groundhogs who have taken up residence. So, again, this is a very nice attraction. Another attraction that has been uh, rethemed and fully refreshed for this uh, new area and, you know, refitted, shall we say. It had to be like 
uh, retract a little bit is the Rio Grande train ride. So, of course, all aboard. No trip to Poland would be complete without a ride on the famous Rio Grande Railway. Fully refurbished for 2021 and now with onboard audio, the classic Rio Grande Loco will take passengers on a delightful journey through the heart of Tornado Springs through the woods. So, very nice to see these attractions getting refreshed as part of the area. There is also Buffalo Falls, uh, which is, of course, the uh, rethemed Wave uh, Runner. And now, the Wave Runner is a classic attraction in the theme park. And, you know, I, I couldn't imagine what it would be like without that attraction. So, the Buffalo Falls is a nice, rapid pace of water down a nice dinghy slide uh, down the old Tornado Springs. So, uh, you know, brilliant, brilliant attraction. That's already open. Uh, that was open before the area, and of course that'll be reopened again in 2021 with the rest of the area uh, in the park. Now into your two play areas. These are for the kids. So the first one is the adventure play area, known as Junkyard Junction. So crikey, youngsters sure do have a lot to get up and go. Let off some steam at the Junkyard Junction, a playground, a super adventure playground in the heart of Tornado Springs. So this is your more adventure play area, but then you've got your fun playground. This is Parking Lot Tots. Litlands can let their imagination roam free in this exciting and fun themed playground with the Route 83 diner and toilets conveniently located nearby. So that's your sort of kids playground while the... The Junkyard Junction's more like the older kids' playground, I guess. Um, now, as well as the attractions, you've also got Al's Shop and Service and Jesse's Route 83 Diner. So that's the main shop and restaurant, respectively, in the area. Um, so, yeah. So that is everything you need to know about Tornado Springs itself, for those of you who are new to the channel. And now let's talk about my thoughts on the brand new opening date. So there we go, that is the official opening date set for Tornado Springs in 2021, the 19th of March. And like I said at the start of the video, in the description down below, I have left the link to the Tornado Springs website where you can book your tickets in advance. Where you can book your tickets, the tickets are on sale for that date right now. So please get on over there and book your tickets now. This is a very exciting date because, of course, like you guys know, I was planning to go to Tornado Springs. This year, I was planning to go to Tornado Springs for the opening date. Um, and, of course, with the pandemic, I couldn't do that. So, hopefully in 2021, I will be down there in March for the opening date of this brand new area. Um, you know, it's, it's a world-class themed area. Yes, it's a family thrill park. You know, it's not like a big Thorpe Park or anything with massive roller coasters. But it's still got a level of thrill that antagonizes, not antagonizes, sorry, but it's got a thrill level that it sort of brings the teens in anyway. So it's like a full family day out. It's the teens, it's the kids, it's the littler kids, it's the adults, it's the granddads and the grandmas. It's got everything for any age group. So, you know, for my age group, it brings it in with the coasters, the thrill rides, you know, that's what brings us in anyway, and I'm sure it does for the little kids as well with their attractions and the, the grandma and granddads with the walk around the windmill, the classic wind, uh, well, the classic windmill and things like that. And a walk around the lake and the gardens. I know the old Stakes and Ladders garden. Um, and there's like a new, the new, like a newer Japanese garden that was invented a couple of years ago. Um, so there's a lot of stuff for all age groups to walk around. And... You know, that's the good thing about Polton's Park. This world-class area has everything for all age groups. So, 19th of March 2021 is the official opening date for the area. Cannot wait for it. I'm excited. I hope you guys are really excited as well. For now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Again, make sure you go check out our earlier news update from Hyde Park Winter Wonderland 2020 being cancelled until 2021. And uh, don't forget, stay tuned, because today we might have another one, another set of videos from the Six Flags announcements, if they are today, of course. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much. I'm Coast Chell. Keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.